right? We we look at this lineup. What was the thought going into that? Not much. Um, I found out on Sunday that I was going to be starting uh, on Tuesday, mm -hmm. and kind of went through it in my head when Game Three was. To be honest, I was against them. Yeah. Um, so there was kind of an oh shoot moment, but then kind of right away also I was just more excited to face him because I knew I wasn't really supposed to do well so it was more like a, just go out there and see yeah, what you yeah. got so what was that conversation like with Kinsler and, and the staff um it was I mean Josh came over to me I, and told me on Sunday he said just wanted to give me a chance to like get ready and stuff um for Tuesday and they just said like they like what I like what they saw out of me in the exhibition game and right kind of the confidence in it how I was or whatever, and I was just like, right. yeah, yeah. if I faked it good, maybe that works. So. Um, we were throwing to CJ Stubbs, who was new that day to the group. What was that like getting to know him before the game and then him coming into it? He's a good dude. Um, I, I threw it his brother, Garrett, in the exhibition game, but I mean, it wasn't really anything different just because all the guys there were new guys and yeah, we yeah. weren't there much together anyway. So I think I was supposed to throw to Garrett and right. obviously got hurt, but throwing to CJ was just, just fine. Um, okay, so. Your first hitter, yeah. This guy Juan Soto. Yeah. What's the plan going into a guy like Juan Soto? Um, I mean, I'm sure there, there was a scouting report that I went through during before the game, but I mean, it was like a big league scouting report that I had really never seen, and I was kind of just like I told Josh and I told CJ, I was like, hey, I'm just gonna go out there and try first strikes and my best stuff and see what happens. And he's like, all right. So I mean, for me, just going here, I was just, I was really just trying to get the first strike because I knew once I got that I'd kind of be able to settle down and stuff. Yeah. Um, thankfully, Ump gave me one there, so we were good. Because then you come... Yeah, in the fast ball league. You get a big whiff on Juan Soto there. Yeah. Is there, is there, is there anything going through your head on it other than the next pitch or it's... Not it's, not really. Yeah. It was just the next pitch. That's amazing. Yeah. What, what happened here from your view? Um, made a solid pitch. I talked to uh, who was out there, Spencer Harlitz. Mm -hmm. I talked to him after the dugout, and he was like, Yeah, like shift card had us playing deep and stuff. And I mean, he's a first baseman playing left field for the first time. And I, I mean, I, it shows on the video after at some point, but I just laughed. Like, I was just like, All right, like, yeah, yeah. I got the ball back, and he was on second base. And I'm just like, That's as, if that's how it's going to go. That's how it's going to go. There's nothing I can do about it. Right, right. Made a good pitch, beat him. And, yeah, I've done a lot of it, so it just happens sometimes. And Julio Rodriguez, what do you remember from, from the at bat? You said slider to start off. Yeah, it was the first go? slider I threw. Slider is like a new pitch for me mm -hmm. um, this season, so it was the first one I threw that game. Um, I actually didn't even throw on the exhibition game, so it was the first one I threw all tournament. Yeah. And um, it was like super, like, it just wasn't even close. Um, so then I just went back to the fastball, and he found it all. And he hit like the hardest ground ball I've ever seen right at Matt at first. So able to get one there. Manny Machado that came up next. Yeah. How do you how do you go about just throwing pitches there and not thinking about it too much of like who is this guy? Going in was kinda like I was my thought process was I'm just gonna I'm not gonna pitch scared. Like there's they probably expect me as a 19 year old facing them to come in and just go like first pitch sliders, first pitch curveballs, and everything. Yeah. Um, so I just started attacking my fastball, and if it was a strike, then I knew I was going to be able to. Right. And then get it going. Because um, you had him quick on the, the two fastballs. Yeah, so I threw him. I mean, even the first at bat to Soto, I threw him three fastballs in a row to start. Right. I think that's why I, just, I was able to get one by him. Um, and then I threw the child two fast ones that he fouled off, or one of them was fouled off, one of them was like a check swing or something, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, and I threw the best slider in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's what, your second slider you've thrown in a, in yeah. a live game on that one? Uh, yeah. I mean, I threw some in like spring training and okay. like backfield. Right, right, right. Rafael Devers, oh, yeah, next guy up. No, oh, thanks. Next. Okay. <laughs> Jimenez, Elo Jimenez. Yeah. His next um, up after that. Through, um, so you had, a, you had a fastball that went low to start yeah, 1 0, and then another um, fastball, another right fastball that he hit that, that shot to uh, the yeah, left side. Yeah, I was, I mean, that was kind of the same thing where I was just like, hey, I'm going to attack with fastballs and see what happens. Um, but it just wasn't a good pitch. Yeah. And bring in stuff. So. 
like he went first pitch curveball on him. So so where did that yeah go? I hadn't I threw the only curveball to Soto, um, so I thrown a lot of first pitch fastball or mm-hmm. all first pitch fastball pretty much except for the Julio Rodriguez one. Um, so it's kind of just changed it up a little bit. And at the time, I was not confident throwing my slider to a lefty. Um, and the change it wasn't great, obviously. So I just did my first pitch curveball. Um, was able to get one there to start. And then you you went back to the curve a couple times that at bat. Yeah, um, it just it, nothing really. It just kind of felt good coming out. And like I said, the slider wasn't there for lefties yet. Right. So that was kind of just my only other off speed pitch, and also didn't trust the changeup. Was kind of a process of elimination there. And then your your first uh, test on on the defensive side there coming on the on yeah. the ground ball. Are there nerves running over to first base at that point? Just to, no. To um, actually, when he when when Murray threw the ball to me, I was kind of worried that if I just try to catch it like that regularly, I was going to miss it. So I just caught it with the chest and just yeah. trapped it there. And I was like, all right, let's just make sure we have this one. Amazing. So I mean, at that point, you're out of that inning. What's the chatter? What's going on in the dugout between innings? Nothing much going on, just because I knew I was going back out there, so you don't really say anything in between. Um, But I mean, I was just happy that I was able to get through the first one. Once that happened, it was kind of stable sound. Was there a, obviously there's an upper threshold limit, but was there a conversation around at least a goal or or a potential of of how long you could go in? So that game was it one time for the lineup? I think it was, no, I think it was two innings. um, Because I I hadn't even gone into the second inning yet like that whole year or mm-hmm. the whole beginning of the season so right. spring or whatever exhibition game was one inning um so that was the first time i was getting i think there's like 35 pitches when i went i mean i really had the same approach the whole yeah. game it's kind of just attack with the fastball and finish them off with everything else right um, so i was able to after him like a fastball i kind of cut a little bit and i swung and missed on um and then like i threw like back to back curveballs mm. Uh, one of them was a ball, and then one of them fouled off, and then he just wants to slider again, just go on. And then, yeah. Um, yeah, four pitch walk. Also. Yeah, we, <laughs> we don't do those. Do those. You're, who ends up being your last batter is Gary Sanchez. What comes to mind when you think back to that? I mean, I grew up a Yankees fan, so I mean, that was super cool face yeah. being able to face him. Um, I forgot what I started. I think I did I go first? No, first pitch, fastball, ball, high, then curveball. That uh, gave me what I think. It was Basketball. like, yeah, was, I kind of knew it was like my last batter because I you knew I was getting up there in pitches. So, like, right, 2 2, didn't really want to go slider again because I just thrown it. And I threw the curveball a couple times also. I was just like, all right, let's just try to throw this one side. It's like, right, and maybe go clip to the bottom. The guys coming to the mound, kids are coming out to you, your walk back in. What are those, the, the, the words, the conversation? Just like what's flowing through your head at that time. I was, I mean, on the mound. So obviously Kinsler starts to come out and all the infielders come in and stuff. And I was like trying to kind of hold back a smile because I wasn't really sure like what to, what to do there. And Mervis and I think Mervis said it, but like all the guys were kind of just like, dude, you just struck out like three of the best hitters in baseball. <laughs> you could smile a little bit. So I let, let a smile go. And kids were kind of, I just said good job and stuff. And this yeah. one there's really okay with you. What's uh? What was that environment like? You know, Dominican fan base. Being it was awesome. Ridiculous. Um, it was loud, but it was. I mean, it was super cool. Like, once you're out there, I didn't really like hear anything or whatever, except for just horns and stuff. Um, but I mean, it was super cool. You're sitting next to Federman, chatting, and, and there's obviously smile, and and cameras catch that, and you have the MLB Network crew talking about how cool the moment is yeah. and everything like that. What, what are those conversations like with, with your teammates there? I don't remember what I said. You know? <laughs> nope. I honestly couldn't even remember. I, it was probably something just about like the game yeah. and like how cool that was. And, I don't know. Yeah. I remember saying to a bunch of people like how mentally draining it was to face those guys and stuff. But I mean, I, I don't right, remember right. specifically what For I said sure. in that situation. What was the phone like? after that game what was your phone like? um it was there was a lot of messages i think it might have been more than when i got drafted which is i would say something but, yeah um, i mean all the, obviously all the like twitter stuff and instagram stuff was cool but i mean i had a lot of like texts and stuff like that so 